Marjorie Taylor Greene apparently saw a movie recently, a right wing documentary. It's an anti-vax documentary called died suddenly. And because of her viewing of this movie, she now wants to hold a congressional hearing and she wants embalmers to come and testify before Congress about how allegedly dangerous the COVID vaccine is now died suddenly. As I said, it's a right wing film. It's an anti-vax film. And, uh, they, they show these embalmers who are not doctors. They are not medical professionals. They are not trained to diagnose people. All they do is, you know, drain the bodily fluids, put in the embalming fluids and, you know, take out, uh, various other pieces. They're not doctors. And I cannot stress that enough, but in this film, the embalmers who are, you know, these so-called whistleblowers say that, yeah, ever since the COVID-19 vaccines came out, we've been finding these so-called white fibrous clots in some bodies. Like we see them in more bodies now, fibrous clots. Okay. That that's it by the way. Like that's the big thing. Like we're finding more clots. And Marjorie Taylor Greene posted on social media after watching this film. And she said, we need to investigate this by talking to embalmers. No, you actually don't. By the way, let me go ahead and actually tell you some real science here. Uh, when COVID first came out and people first started dying from COVID, they did real autopsies on them. You know, medical doctors, not, not the embalmers, real medical doctors did, you know what they were finding? And this was before the vaccines ever came out. Lots of clots, <laughs> lots of fibrous clots in individuals who died from COVID uh, before COVID, by the way, do, do you know what autopsies would routinely find in patients, even if it wasn't their cause of death? Lots of clots. <laughs> clots are common. And by the way, when a body dies, you know what the blood kind of tends to do? It clots up. <laughs> like it's a natural thing that happens with dead bodies. Not to mention if you're overweight, which is obviously an epidemic here in the United States, you're more prone to clots. If you have certain conditions that are also very prevalent here in the United States, you're prone to clots. So blood clots are not uncommon. But this film makes it seem like, oh no, blood clots are new. We're just finding these because of the vaccines. And Marjorie Taylor Greene says, bring these people down in here and let's hear from them so that they can validate my conspiracy theory. 230 million United States citizens are considered fully vaxxed, which means they've had at least two doses of the COVID-19 vaccine, 230 million. And we're talking about embalmers who looked at a couple bodies and said, Hey, these couple people had clots and we're pretty sure not a confident, but we're pretty sure they were all vaccinated. So suddenly that's a grand conspiracy 5.55. So 5 billion, 550 million people across the globe, fully vaccinated five and a half billion people. And yet the U S population continues to grow. We actually grew to 335 million just this year. So we're not seeing mass die offs. I mean, that alone, by the way, is like the number one way to debunk all of these idiot COVID anti-vaxxers. You can look around you and see that 70% of the population got vaccinated, but 70% of the population didn't die. Like 70% of the population's not walking around out there, like pulling white fibrous clots out of their noses. We're fine. Like it's, it's open your damn eyes. When you walk around the streets, when you go to the grocery store, there's still people, most of them are vaccinated and they're just fine. Like that alone is the way to debunk all of this. Like just open your eyes and look and see other human beings not dying. But Marjorie Taylor Greene, for some strange reason, is on this crusade to make sure that nobody gets vaccinated and nobody protects themselves. Even as COVID is once again on an upswing here in the United States, she wants to make sure people stay scared. And by staying scared, they put themselves and everyone else at greater risk.